Okay, so in this video we're going to be tuning the guitar with an electronic tuner. Um, as you can see at the bottom of the screen there's a little G there on my tuner. Um, if, I, if I press the button it changes to B. Uh, G's for guitar, B's for bass guitar, V's for violin, U for ukulele, C's for lots of instruments. And we're going to keep it on G for guitar. Most of them will have a little switch like that and they'll do different instruments, although they might be sold as just a guitar tuner. So just, just make sure that that's in the right position. Okay, so um, obviously we're going to be turning the keys. There's a rule here whenever we're tuning and that is that we always pluck before we turn the key. Okay, um, as I pluck the string there, this is the E string near the floor, it's a little bit low and you'll get used to which way to turn the key to make it go higher. You'll see it go higher and you'll hear it go higher. But always pluck, listen and turn. And if the note fades away, pluck, listen and turn. Okay. And it's, um, it's telling me it's string one as well. If I go on to the next string, the next string is the B string. And again, you can follow the string all the way along to the mechanism if you want to, and just check that you're turning the right key. Um, another reason for listening before you turn is if you're turning the wrong key and nothing's changing, it's not getting higher or lower, it means you've probably just made the mistake of turning the wrong key. Um, and that just proves that that's what's happening. All these, two, all these strings are fairly in tune. Okay, so... Small turns. That's the B. String two. And then we've got the G string. That's a little bit low, so we're going to tighten that up. Again, I'm just following the keys as I go along. This is the, uh, the key for the G string. And there we are. It's when the string settles just after you've struck the string judge it that's great okay so that's the G string uh, next we've got the D string um, on this type of guitar that's going to be up here now if you've got an electric guitar all the the tuning keys will be in a line all the way along so those ones I've just tuned will be starting further down but again you can follow the string and see which which mechanism it goes around that's the best way so I'm plucking and turning obviously that's um, that's high there so I'm bringing that down lower, and there we are. It's telling me the string, and it's, uh, it's proving it's right. So we've got a low one there on the A, and that's telling me it's string five. So I'm tightening that up. So as long as you can carefully turn the keys, and, and, and understand, you know, the highs and the lows. You know, even a young child can do this. But, you know, just make sure that, you, that you're with them a bit at first so that, so that they really understand what they're doing. And particularly that thing about plucking the string and turning, do you hear a difference in sound? Um, you know, you don't want to be, be t turning a key a lot and nothing's happening. Okay, so that's got the guitar in tune. Um, in the next part of the video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at um, a guitar with really loose strings. Uh, so if you get a guitar from a shop and it's been in a box and nobody's tuned it, the strings will be really loose. If you have to change a string or someone else changes a string for you and it's loose, then you need to be able to start from scratch, if you like, from a really loose string. And also, if you're not getting um, a sign that, that the string's close on the display, then rather than you know tightening the string too much, you can always really loosen the string completely. So if you're really not too sure what's going on and you feel the string's getting a bit tight and you're not too sure, then you can use the next part of the video to completely loosen the string and then gradually tighten it up so that you know where you are. But you'll hear the strings get tighter. So um, if you feel like you're getting a little bit lost because the guitar's quite out of tune, then just use this next part of the video and even if it's just one string you're not sure about, just completely loosen it. And, uh, and we'll do it that way. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do a whole load of videos now. There's gonna be a video for each string. 
But before we go into those videos, I'm just going to show you how loose these strings are. I've completely loosened them so you can see um, they're completely loose. They don't really make a note. Um, you can actually you know, move them around quite a lot. Um, you don't want them any looser than this. Um, but it's but it's great because you've got a starting point then and you can you can go from a completely loose string and know exactly how it's going to sound and exactly how tight it's going to get in the end. So uh, the next video is going to be obviously string one, the E string near the floor and then it'll be a separate video for each string. So string one's the one near the floor, string two's the next one up, string three, string four, string five, all the way to string six at the top and I'll put the letters of those strings as well on each video. Okay. Okay, so this video is for the E string, the one right near the floor. As you can see, this is a very loose string. And as I first start plucking, nothing's happening on the tuner. We're gonna get an E in a minute and all sorts of other letters. Now that is not the E we want. Okay, that string is still flapping around absolutely loads. Um, just to give you an idea. I'm tightening up and I'm gonna get some other letters coming up soon. I've got an A there. We know we don't want an A because it's an E string. That's a D, so, so that's quite a low D. And we had a little flash of E there as well. But you'll get an idea from hearing the note now. As you're tightening your string, make sure it sounds similar to mine. Not a lot higher or a lot lower as we go up. Obviously that was the G. That's the B. Now at this point you'll start to notice the string is actually getting quite tight. We're doing loads of turning now. Okay, so, um, so we're getting closer there. See, we're getting closer to, to the E there and there we are okay so we're on the knee now what will happen as you've probably noticed there um, and this will happen on your tuner is it's immediately gone low and that's because the string's been tightened recently and it will just keep loosening and it'll keep loosening for several days if, 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 if I come back to that that string uh, in a few minutes time it'll be quite a lot lower, okay. Um, I mean, if I just leave it for a bit, it, it will be lower when I pluck it again. And that's, that's quite normal. And I'm gonna go through all the other strings now so you'll see some more videos for the other strings. And there it is, it still needs tightening again, okay. Okay, so this video is for tuning the B string, the second string up. And again, this is completely loose and flapping around. Um, as if it's a new string, it doesn't make much sound. And we're going to get lots of letters as I tighten it. So we've already got an E there and an A. And as you tighten, just make sure that it sounds about the same as mine. So we're ignoring all these letters. close now because we've got a B but it's still too low and there we are and as I mentioned for the E string it's going to keep getting low and I'm going to have to keep tightening it and you'll have the same thing if I leave that for an hour it's going to be a lot lower than a B best to just keep tightening it a little bit and the next video will be for the G string so this video is for tuning the G string 
from scratch. This is completely loose at the moment. Um, it's making a very low sound. I'll just loosen it a bit more. Okay, so that's really not making any sound at all now. And as before, as I tighten it, you'll see lots of letters come up on your tuner, which we're going to ignore. Um, we'll just see one of those now. So it's showing you an E and an A, much too low. And listen to the sound it's making. And try and make your sound the same. So you keep plucking as you're turning. Yes, we got there and then it's loosened a bit more and there we are so it's on and then it's gone a little bit low I would expect that to get lower now there we go it's getting lower and it just needs a bit more tightening so that's how the G string string sounds from scratch Okay, so this video is for tuning the D string from very loose. I'm just going to loosen that a bit more. Okay, no note at all there from the D string. D string is a fourth one up, one, two, three, four. And this is the key for it, as you'll see as we go through. Okay, so we're going to get lots of letters again, which we're going to ignore. But that's an E, obviously that's too low. An A. plucking as you turn yours should sound about the same as mine as you go up higher and higher getting close now and there we are and again we'd expect that string to loosen quite quickly because we've only just tightened it up it'll go back to its loose state um, if I come back to that in 10 minutes time it's going to be quite low Over, over about you know a week it will really settle down and, and it should keep keep the note quite well so that's how to tune a D string from a completely loose new string okay so this video is for tuning the A bass string which is the fifth string up as we count um, that's completely loose as you can see it's wobbling around nice and loose and it shouldn't respond much on the tuner there until we start to tighten up so try and tighten your string about the same speed that I'm tightening my string we've got an E there these bass strings don't need as much tightening as the high ones and then we're starting to get the A, it's still low little bit slower now slightly over there and there's the A and it's telling us it's string 5 so we know we're on the right one there so that's how to tune the A string from a completely loose string So now we're going to be tuning the E string, which is right at the top here. You see it's flapping around, it's very loose. Um, this one's a little bit different to the others. As we tighten it, we will, this will be the first letter we will see. Can you hear it there? It's just coming through a little bit. It should sound low, this string should. And there it is. It's still too low, but it's the first letter you'll see on your tuner. there always keep plucking as you turn and there we go and again that will loosen it's already loosened a little bit there and it'll just need a little bit of more tightening and there we go 
I mean, you can tighten them a little bit more than you need uh, because they're going to loosen, but obviously you don't want to tighten them too, tighten them too much. Um, but you can just go slightly over the line if you like, if you want to save time. So that's the E string from Completely Loose.